My name's Seth McGinnis. I'm the owner of Classic Heating and Air along with my brother, Dane McGinnis. A lot of folks <laughs> say that they couldn't work with a family member. Uh, I would say I, I wouldn't work with anyone other than, than Seth. Dane and I started Classic Heating and Air together um, with really a, a hope and a prayer and a little bit of money in the bank and a lot of determination and, and effort to make it work. we have done a little bit of HVAC and plumbing in our younger years. Uh, my dad owned uh, appliance and air conditioning. He was a contractor slash dealer in the 80s. The weather here is either hot or hot, and so uh, HVAC is, is a necessity, and, and air conditioning people can't do without. Lots of guys come and go. So one thing that we've done to combat that with Classic is, is we have all of our employees and all of our technicians are on salary. When I first started working for Classic Heating and Air, I tore my ACM on meniscus. So I was out for two months and I just started working for them. Um, and they took care of me. I didn't have to worry about, you know, was I gonna get a paycheck or not? That's what I kn really knew that, hey, these guys are, you know, they really love you. They really want what's best for you and your, for your family. This isn't just about me and Seth. It's just about something bigger, and, and Classic Heating and Air is bigger than just one person. Treating them just like we treat one another is really the key to letting them know it's bigger than just a job. It's bigger than just a, a, a paycheck. We want those guys to know they're part of our family. We want people that have the same values and moral compass that you have, and Seth and Dane displayed that from, from day one. They do everything with excellence. Just trying to pass on the the things that have been given to us and try to be good stewards of what we've been given. I have a friend that is involved with families with, in a nonprofit, and she said, you know what, Mimi, I have a family that hasn't had heat in over two or three years with, a, with kids that are going to school and they all have to huddle together. So the first person I thought about was Seth, and I told him, I explained to him the story, and he went in and replaced everything, and it was no charge to the family. They are really setting the precedence of what organizations and companies need to be doing to support their communities and those in need. When there's an opportunity to help give back just a little bit, Dane and I always want to do that because we don't look at it as if it was ours to ever have and own anyway. Uh, again, I, I couldn't ask for, for a better brother, couldn't ask for a better business partner. We've got a relationship that, uh, that can't be broken, I'm certain of that. There's a lot of families that work for us that ultimately what we do day in and day out affects their children or, you know, or what kind of life they can live or have. And when you're doing that, it's a huge motivating factor to always do the right thing.